The movie opens in a compound where a skilled assassin, Suki, is on a killing spree. She kills most of the members of her rival gang before jumping out of the building where the police surround her. Suki is taken into custody by South Korean intelligence where the officers learn that she single-handedly wiped out the entire gang. The department thinks about taking advantage of her skills and recruiting her as an agent. After the decision is made, she is given plastic surgery to change her appearance into a completely new person. After recovering, Suki tries to break out of the facility, but the officers shoot her to fake her death before inviting her to join hands with the agency. After a while, Chief Kwan Suk tells her that she is dead to the world, but it can change if she agrees to join them in exchange for freedom. Suki has no interest in her offer as she does not want to live anymore, but Kwan Suk informs her about her pregnancy and urges her to live for her baby. Suki eventually accepts the offer and begins her training at the facility where she later gives birth to a baby girl, Unhe. Initially, Suki does not actively participate in training, but things change once another trainee provokes her to fight. Although she unwillingly fights against other trainees, Suki stuns everyone with her amazing moves as she takes down her opponents within seconds. During her training, an officer asks her to share information about her father's killer, but Suki does not disclose anything as she wants to take revenge herself. While talking to him, she remembers how she tracked down a guy named Jang Chun, thinking he was the killer. Suki fought with him, but Jang Chun quickly subdued her and revealed that although he was present at the spot, he was not the one who killed her father. Soon after, another guy, Jung Sang, took Suki from Jang Chun and started training her to be an assassin. In the present, as Suki begins her training, it all reminds her of the training she underwent from a very young age because Jung Sang wanted her to be a killing machine. After a while, when Suki completes her training, Kwang Suk gives her her first target while telling her that she can be free from the facility after killing him. Suki wants to know more details, but Kwang Suk informs her that she is not allowed to ask any questions. After hesitantly accepting the first assignment, Suki rides to the given address and kills her target, but soon learns that the guy was the father of a young girl. This sight reminds her of her miserable past, as she also witnessed her father getting killed in front of her eyes. Suki is still thinking about the girl, but the guy's security team learns about her, and she has to flee from the site. The group continues to chase her, but Suki gets rid of them by jumping off the bridge. While struggling underwater, she remembers how her father found a precious diamond, but it turned his friend Jang Chun against him. Jang Chun also witnessed Suki's father's murder before finding her hiding under the bed and forcibly taking her with him. Suki tried to run away from his car, but he got furious and dragged her back before slapping her as a punishment. Jang Chun locked her in his place, but Jung Sang rescued her from him. Suki cries after thinking about her traumatic past, and Chief Kwan Suk picks her up from the riverbank. As she has successfully completed her first task, Suki is allowed to leave the facility. Kwan Suk takes her and Eun Hae to their new home and also gives her a new identity with the name Yeon Su. Another member of the agency, Hyun Su, is given the task to move into the same building and keep an eye on her. As per orders, Hyun Su meets Suki in the elevator and tries to initiate a conversation with her and Eun Hae. While talking to her, he also slides a photo frame into her stuff to use as an excuse for their further interactions. Soon, both learn that they have not only just shifted to the building and are actually next-door neighbors. At his question about her husband, Suki tells him that he went overseas while Hyun Su shares about his wife who died a few years ago. As Hyun Su continuously bothers her, Suki gets frustrated and asks Kwan Su to run a background check on him. After a while, Suki returns the photo frame to Hyun Su and questions him about his wife. He shares that they spent a lot of time in Yunbian, which surprises Suki, but she leaves without any comment. After they have interacted a few times, Hyun Su asks her name before inviting her to dinner. Suki introduces herself with her new identity but declines the invitation. With time, Hyun Su gets close to Suki and Eun Hae. As he always takes care of them, his kind gestures impress Suki, so she invites him over to watch her play at a theater, a job she keeps to maintain her cover. He accepts the invitation and attends her performance before taking her out for dinner. Hyun Su's necktie reminds her of her husband, so Suki shares how she got married to Jung Sang. On their honeymoon, as they were enjoying their time together, she told Jung Sang that she was even ready to give up on her vengeance because she wanted to have a normal life with him. Soon, Jung Sang got a call and was told that their friend Chun Mo was in trouble. Despite her pleas to get her to go with him, he went alone and died at the hands of a rival gang. 
Upon returning to the apartment that night, Suki and Hyun Su make out, but Suki gets a call and has to report for the next assignment. On her request, Hyun Su agrees to stay at her place and take care of Eun Hae, while Suki leaves for work. At the theater, she meets another agent, Min Ju, who just got out in the field. Both go on the next mission together, where Suki steals a man's phone and copies the data, but he finds out about it. As they threaten to kill Min Ju, Suki agrees to return the phone and distracts them. The two of them end up in a fight and manage to take their enemies down, but Min Ju gets fatally injured. Suki rushes her to the car, but she is knocked by Kwan Suk's careless attitude, as she orders her team to copy the data instead of taking Min Ju to the hospital first. Suki protests against it, but Kwan Suk holds her responsible for messing it up. As they argue with each other, Min Ju takes her last breath in Suki's hands, and she can't do anything except watch in helplessness. Suki returns home exhausted by the events of the night and finds Hyun Su still taking care of her daughter. Seeing her depressed, he comforts her for her loss, which brings Suki closer to him. Meanwhile, the data from the hard drive is recovered and contains information about Chun Mo, a gangster who used to work with Suki. Due to her connection with him, the agency thinks Suki might be a double agent. When her loyalty to the agency is questioned, Kwan Suk informs the authorities that they have appointed an agent to keep an eye on Suki, but he did not find anything suspicious about her. The agency plans its next move, while on the other hand, Suki has finally overcome her grief. She confesses to lying about her background, but Hyun Su assures her that he will always be by her side, no matter what. As both have developed feelings for each other, Suki meets Kwan Suk and requests her permission to marry him. After a while, as Suki is getting ready for the wedding, another agent, Kim Seon, meets her and blames her for Min Ju's death. While Kim Seon is busy harassing her, Suki gets a call from Kwan Suk who tells her about an urgent mission. Suki is directed to go to the washroom, find a hidden gun, and kill the target in the adjacent building. Suki gets her gun, but just when she is about to fire, she learns that the target is Jung Sang, her ex-husband, whom she thought was dead. As she is not allowed to question anything, Suki shoots at him, but fails to kill him due to her hesitation. She tries to clarify it with Kwan Suk, but has to abort the mission because she is being called for the ceremony. While walking down the aisle, Suki remembers her first wedding with Jung Sang. After she saw his dead body on their honeymoon, she went outraged. Despite Chun Mo warning her, Suki infiltrated the rival gang's building and killed almost every member of the group before being arrested by the police. While she is reminiscing about the past, Kim Seong is ordered to complete the mission. Meanwhile, Jung Sang backtracks the situation and finds out how Suki tried to aim at him through the fan in the next building. Although Jung Sang cannot recognize her, he gets suspicious especially after knowing that all the guests at the wedding were paid off. He keeps an eye on Suki and spots her having dinner with Hyun Su. When Hyun Su leaves to attend a call, Jung Sang walks up to Suki's table and talks about her past, but she pretends to know nothing about him. After leaving the table, Jung Sang overhears Hyun Su talking to the chief about Suki. He learns that Hyun Su is also a part of the agency and married Suki just as a part of the mission. It is revealed that Jung Sang was never interested in her, but she had feelings for him. While talking about living a normal life with him, Suki told him that Jang Chun did not kill her father, but it was someone else and she was still looking for him. At present, Kwang Suk demands an explanation from Suki about her meeting with Jung Sang but Suki tells her he was just a fan of her play. Kwang Suk also scolds her for failing the mission and warns her not to lose focus or her family might have to face the consequences. Before her next play, Suki receives a banquet with a flash drive hidden inside the card. After finding a safe place, she hears the recording in which Hyun Su is talking to the chief and finds out about him being a part of the agency. Furious, she calls Jung Sang and alerts him about Kim Seong who is sent to kill him. As a result, Jung Sang is already prepared for Kim Seon and captures her as soon as she arrives at their place. Kwan Suk calls Hyun Su and advises him to stay with Suki, but he questions her about Jung Sang. She tells him that Jung Sang must die because it's the only way Suki can live freely. Hyun Su decides to dig deeper and informs Suki that he wants to go see his mother. He also advises her to inform him if anything happens and leaves after proclaiming his love for her. He visits the injured Jang Chun and seeks information about Suki's past. Meanwhile, Kwan Suk meets Suki and tells her that she wanted her to kill Jung Sang and start a new life with Hyun Su, but she messed it all up. Suki discloses being aware of Hyun Su's association with them. Meanwhile, Hyun Su calls Kwan Suk and asks about Suki because she could not reach her. 
She does not share anything but satisfies him by saying Suki is sick and being taken to the hospital. After talking to her, hyun Su returns to the apartment to take care of Eunhye. Suki is being transported to another place when a bike crashes into the agency's car. An intense fight ensues in which Kwan Suk gets shot while Jung Sang rescues Suki. At her request, he takes her back to the apartment. Suki steps out of the car and watches hyun Su and Eunhye jump out of the apartment which is on fire. Frustrated, she rushes to them, but neither of them survives the injuries. After the police arrive on site, Suki visits Kwan Suk and confronts her for killing Hyun Su, but she denies the agency's involvement in his death. Seeing Suki's disbelief, Kwan Suk shows her video proof of what happened at the apartment. When Hyun Su went there to meet Eunhye, he was attacked by Jung Sang's gang, which was already present there. He accused them of faking Jung Sang's death and lying to Suki about it. But the members told him if they had not done that, Suki would have found out that it was Jung Sang who killed her father. The guy further revealed that Jung Sang never loved Suki, but only married her to honor her wish. They also thought that Suki would get killed while avenging Jung Sang's death from the rivals, but she single handedly defeated them all. Feeling trapped, Hyun Su disclosed about Eunhye being Jung Sang's daughter, and even talked to him on the phone about her, but was shocked to hear that Jung Sang did not care about her. After running out of options, Hyun Su picked a fight with the gang, but they soon took him down and planted a bomb near him, which they only detonated after watching Suki arrive outside the building. Suki is shocked to hear the truth and yells at Kwan Suk for revealing everything at this point. Kwan Suk wishes Suki and Hyun Su would have met in some other circumstances, but it's too late now. While leaving the place with Suki, Kwan Suk tells her that Hyun Su did not marry her for the mission and he actually cared about her. After a while, Suki still keeps an eye on Jung Sang's gang and picks up a fight with them. After defeating many members of the gang, she meets Jung Sang and asks if he ever loved her, but he declines. He also confesses to killing her father. Suki is in shock after hearing this and challenges him to a duel. Both being expert fighters give tough times to each other and jump out of the window while fighting. Jung Sang's henchman tells him about the police and takes him onto the bus transporting the gang members to a safe place. Suki gets a car from a stranger and chases them down before jumping onto the bus. The gang members try their best to throw her out, but Suki clings to the bus before jumping inside. She once again uses her amazing fighting skills and keeps killing everyone until she comes across Jung Sang again. There is another intense fight between them in which both try their best to take the other down. Although Jung Sang takes the lead, Suki picks up an axe and hits the driver which leads the bus to crash in the middle of the road. After a few minutes, both get up again. Although Suki is still determined to kill him, she gets reluctant because it's the man she always loved. Jung Sang keeps her distracted, but she eventually cuts him down with an axe. Soon, she walks out of the destroyed bus. Although Suki is surrounded by the police, she has a grim smile on her face because she has finally taken her revenge. If you enjoyed that recap, I got a good feeling you'll enjoy this one too. Click on the video on your screen for more.